So guys, welcome back at Emotion PSUs. So here we are with a quick video which is supposed to be integrated with my undervolting tutorials and it is an NVIDIA control panel optimization guide. It's supposed to give you a bit better FPS and hopefully a bit smoother gaming experience overall. Now again, this is supposed to be done after doing a proper undervolt. Also, I apologize for a different setting and my outfit, but it's Saturday night, but I figured I'd make a quick video for you guys before going out because you've been asking for it a lot. So it's gonna be a very quick video, but if it ends up being helpful for you, maybe drop a like and subscribe to the channel. So let's get started. Okay, so here we are into Windows now. Right click on void, show other options and open the NVIDIA control panel right here. First thing you wanna do on the top here, make sure the middle option is checked. This will allow you to actually manually tweak everything. Okay, at this point, go in 3D options right here and now we actually get started. So I'm gonna show you every single one how I said it. Anti-aliasing, gamma correction, disabled, cause again, this is for performance only, okay? Anti-aliasing mode, disabled. Triple buffer, disabled. Those one, leave it a stock. CUDA GPU, you wanna put your main GPU right here, in my case it's a 4090. Hit OK. By the way, sorry for the Italians in the menu. OpenGL, we can leave it at stock. DSR off. Shader cache, driver defined. Anisotropic filter disabled. Three linear optimization disabled. Filter, this is key quality, you want to put it to high performance, right there. Then maximum frequency, okay, this I, I usually recommend against, but if you're playing with G-Sync and you have an absolute maximum of frame rates, then you may want to enable it and sync it to your monitor, maybe it's like 240 FPS, so you may want to do that, but in my case, I don't want to do that, so we are leaving it off right there. Same thing goes for the application itself. Then on GPU rendering, OpenGL, you wanna pick your GPU right there. Vulkan OpenGL, leave this on auto. Low latency mode, it's very key. Put it on ultra now. On some games, ultra gives out a bit of an issue. So if it does give out issue, set it on enabled, okay? But for me, ultra has worked fine in every single game so far. Now on the actual power settings, we wanna put maximum performance right there. And then disable, disable, thread optimization, put it on enabled, this is also key. And now this on disabled and the vertical sync, if you have G-Sync, like I have, you may want to leave it like this. But if you don't use G-Sync especially, put it on disabled. And then on monitor tech, again, if you have G-Sync, enable it. And then you just hit apply. And this is it. Again, very quick video, but I think it's important to have those things set properly. Uh, so if it was helpful, please drop a like and subscribe. Also, let me know if you want to see a full Windows optimization guide. Uh, it's full of those online. So I don't do really anything special, but if you want to see how I do it especially, let me know. And also we can do something similar for AMD, but the difference isn't as big as with NVIDIA. So let me know if you want to see that one as well. And hopefully I will see you guys in another video as well. Bye bye.